Hi everybody, my name is Erin Barnes. I work for Pikes Peak Library District in our special collections. And my job is the photo archivist. So it is my job to take care of over the 500,000 photographic materials that we have in our collections. And that ranges from everything to, from early daguerreotypes, we have tintypes, we have negatives, we have prints like you're gonna be more familiar with. Um, so we take care of these in special collections because we wanna make them available for generations to come. And our collection covers materials all over the Pikes Peak region from the 1880s, 90s, all the way up until today. We even collect uh, what's called born digital material in our collections. So when we talk about preservation, there's three things that you want to think about with your photographs at home and three things that we really focus on here in Special Collections. So the first one is the environment that your photographs are in. You want to think about temperature and humidity and try to store your photos in a location where the temperature is going to be pretty even and the humidity isn't either too high or too low. So if you think about locations like an attic or maybe a basement, um, or a storage shed, um, some of those places the temperatures are going to fluctuate really wildly as well as the humidity. So you want to think about where can I keep my photographs where they're going to be cool and dry as long as possible and as most consistently as possible. So the, think about the environment. The second thing you want to think about is light. So photographs are very susceptible to light damage and that's light both from the sunlight as well as from our fluorescent light. So the light we see will damage our photographs, your negatives. Um, it's also going to damage, or, or sorry, UV light is also going to damage your photographs. So you think about if you're storing a photograph on your wall, say a family photograph, it's going to fade over time because it's exposed to light. So I often recommend that people make a copy and display the copy. That's what we often do here. Uh, something else that you can do to limit light exposure is to keep your photographs in a box. So here in Special Collections, we use acid-free boxes, uh, and that protects our photographs both from the chemicals that would be in cardboard, as well as from the light. So this protects the photographs. We also keep them in folders just for organization. You could also choose uh, boxes that are more like a shoebox size. This is really good for some of these really small prints. So the idea is to keep them nice and uh, in the dark, as cool, as dry as possible. And the third thing that you want to look for in preserving photographs is surface damage. So photographs, you'll notice we keep all of our photographs in sleeves like this so that when we handle the photographs, the oils on our fingers don't mess with the emulsion. So over time, as you touch your photographs, the oils are going to transfer and start to degrade that chemistry that's on your photograph. So you can use uh, sleeves for that. Um, these are, you want to use sleeves that have passed what's called the photographic activity test, that's P-A-T, um, to make sure that the chemicals in your plastic are not interacting with your photograph as well. Um, and some other options, we do uh, some of our negatives. We keep in paper sleeves because buffered paper is also really good for both blocking the light as well as pro uh, protecting the negative that's inside of the folder. So you can try either of those and products like the boxes, the sleeves, the envelopes, these are all going to be available through, uh, some of them you can buy on Amazon, you can also buy through archival supply companies. Um, and they're a little bit of an investment, but I think they're worth it in the long run to protect your materials from both surface damage, light, and environment. If you have any questions about your photographic preservation, of your own family archives, be sure to let us know, give us a call, and we'll help you out with that.